It's been about a year since I exposed the malicious secrets of Flipperclip. It has Unity adware that can download ads onto your phone, and most people will go completely oblivious to this fact. The only reason I've uncovered it is because I messed something up with my files a while back. But this is a real phenomenon because Reddit has multiple posts about Unity made mobile games doing the exact same thing. But the clip also lies about not sharing any of your information with third parties, which has been documented by two different websites. Some of the third parties Flipaclip shares even include Unity and TikTok, so everything adds up. And while it says you can request for your info to be deleted, this is only partially true because they can simply choose not to if you aren't a important person, whatever that means. But things got worse because among some harmless ads, there are multiple ads for an 18 plus uncensored anime website. And Flip a Clip is only supposed to be 13 plus, it, and it doesn't actually prohibit people from under 13 from accessing the app. The ads I got shown didn't show anything explicit, but they were still quite suggestive. For all I know, I just got lucky. So, Flip a Clip is promoting and possibly showing NSFW to potential minors under 13. There was also this mysterious logo, but it turns out to just be some innocent company about land or something, but I did find one funny coincidence after going to their website. So you might be wondering, what if Flipaclip is innocent and Unity is the mastermind here? All the bad stuff is thanks to their tech, right? Well, when Flipaclip was questioned with these allegations yeah. live, this is how they responded. Um, we're getting a spam comment saying that Flipaclip sells your personal information. I would just like to say that no we don't. Um, that's a spam comment, I'm gonna remove them right now. But oh, laying down the law, Judge Callie. Don't mess around with me. Order in the court. <laughs> You're out of order. This, oh, she's got her rainbow pen as a gavel. You're banned and you're banned. No spreading lies about the flip clip community. He's banning. Ban, ban, ban. Under no circumstances should any serious allegations be addressed to this childishly, and it proves that Flip a Clip themselves are guilty. So, with all that exposing out of the way, it's time to switch apps. I would like to ask the viewer to share this video around with anyone that uses Flip a Clip so they can at very least know the true evils behind Flip a Clip. So I downloaded and tested some many free mobile animation apps. I went about testing these apps with what I call the Mr. Duder test. Despite being a joke at first, it actually is really good because to create this animation you need all the essential features in an animation app. Multiple layers, selection, color picker, the ability to import videos, photo, and audio, opacity features, etc. I will be reviewing all these features in comparison to Flip a Clip, so if something is not said, you're supposed to assume that it's exactly how it was in Flip a Clip. First we have Sketch Animator no, Sketch Animation Maker App, aka Sketch to Animate. The only data this collects is your photos and videos, which is probably just so that can, you can add background pictures. The most mediocre animation app I've ever seen. Here's the entire list of features. You can name your projects, adjust the FPS from 1 to 24, there's a decent variety of backgrounds, you can import your own background, there's some basic auto shapes, pictures, GIFs, there's an undo and redo buttons, you can change the color and size of your and opacity of your brush, there's an eraser, you can make your animation a GIF, view your finished projects, change the language, and delete your shared videos. That's literally it. Not even something as basic as a color wheel is in this app. You have to select between the colors they provide. The only upsides to this app are the ability to make your animation to make your animations into GIFs and the fact that there's no features locked behind paywall. So, if your only interest is making GIFs, go for it. I never actually checked if Flipaclip could make GIFs because I never cared up until this point, so I don't know if this is even a plus. One thing that co is consistently worse across all these apps is that you can only have one color selected. In Flipaclip, you could have a different color for the pen, the bucket fill, and the text. It's a minor thing, but it makes things take way longer when mul working with multiple colors. Next we have Animation Studio, and for reasons I'll get to in a minute, you can just ignore this entire segment of the video. Thank you. 
And for some reason, despite downloading this from the Google Play Store, I can't seem to find it anywhere anymore. So I'll link them the website. I'll uh, link the web their website in the description if you, for some reason, want to buy this want, or want to download this app, despite the fact that it's not very good. But always be careful when clicking links, and don't trust anyone on the internet just because you like their content. Is what I would have said if it weren't for the fact that the link on their website also doesn't work either. So it seems this app has inexplicably been completely delisted right after I downloaded it. Seems mildly concerning. But I guess now I have a one-of-a-kind discontinued app on my phone, so yay. Next, there's IBIS Paint. This app collects info and shares it, but is completely honest about it. And I couldn't find anything sinister when Googling who it shares with, and I believe it only does this when you make an account, which you don't have to do to make things. Most people know it as a drawing app, not an animation app, and for good reason. The animation features were only added recently, and even something as basic as a horizontal aspect ratio is locked behind a paywall. Since we are trying to find a replacement for Flip -a Clip, this is already obsolete, because Flip -a Clip only has one aspect ratio, and it's not this size. And you can't have it without paying, because unlike most of these apps, IBIS Paint does not have the ability to watch ads to temporarily unlock features. While I didn't experiment with it much before deleting, I think it's safe to say that IBIS Paint is far too advanced to be considered a flip a clip, a flip -a -clip replacement. Because if you're used to flip a clip, you're used to its easy to use controls. And this app does not have that, and it will destroy you. Lightning Round Art. Artaman Animator is not even an animation app. It's a stop motion app. You can't even draw on the picture, so I have no idea why it has Animator in the name. Next, we have Clip Studio Paint. It collects some info, but it doesn't share it. This one's a bit of a doozy. First, it opens with something a little alarming. You need to have six gigabytes of space open, or there's a chance nothing will save. This app has the brilliant feature of being able to choose between simple controls and complex ones, so the Flip Clip normies and the IBIS paint nerds can both enjoy this app. Unfortunately, the main focus of this app isn't the animation, so the actual animation tools are not on the main bar mode. You can explore individual frames though, which means you could bypass the confusing timeline features by just dropping your frames into another animator. But unfortunately, there's this feature where you can only save your projects for an hour a day, you can still make things, but you can't save them until you purchase premium, which is what I would have said if it weren't for the fact that it miraculously reset within a couple of hours. Its two most unique features are the 3D models used for pose reference and the liquify effects. Both of these are way too fun to mess around with. As of now, I haven't found any features to implement videos, so I don't think it passes the Mr. Duder test, but because of how many features it has, it probably is there and I simply haven't found it. This app is complex enough to warrant its own video, honestly. Even its tutorials are confusing and complicated, so for now, I'll just recommend this as an add-on for any other animation app you use, and just and just export the frames and drop them into, into any other animator you have if you need them. And also, I can't even figure out how to export into finished projects. I, I just can't figure it out. Finally, we have Animation Desk. It doesn't share your info with anything, and the stuff it collects doesn't seem to be very important. Out of everything I've tried, I believe this to be the best one. Let's start with the cons and work our way to the pros. The most annoying error is that there's a 50, ch 50 chance the undo button just doesn't work for no reason. The second most annoying thing is the more you copy something, the lower the resolution gets. It also seems the app itself just has a default lower resolution, but I think it's possible to fix this, I'm not, just not sure how. My Mr. Duder animation is super blurry, but my Digital Circus one is decently smooth. And while I did do a lot of copy-pasting for the Mr. Duder one, I didn't copy one frame into the next continuously. I pasted the same drawing over each frame, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh yeah, of course, by the way. In case you didn't notice, this does in fact pass the Mr. Duder test. For some reason, you can make your projects into NFTs, but you can just ignore this. When I downloaded this on my old phone, it crashed every 3 seconds, so this app will not be very useful if you don't have a well-optimized device with at least a gigabyte of free space. But the same can be said for all apps. 
There's also this annoying feature where you can only watch an ad temporarily to unlock a premium feature for a select few times a day. And while I've never exceeded the limit, if animating was your main profession, then it would most definitely get tedious, especially since the unlock resets the instant you exit a project. Also, circles are way wigglier than other apps for some reason. There's an error that when you, when you tab out of the app and then back in, it will act as if the past few minutes of what you changed never happened. But if you hit the undo button, it will bring you right back to the current edits. But you better do it quick, because for some reason, if you make a change before hitting the undo button, it won't let you go back. There does seem to be a limit to how many colors you can have saved, but you can delete individual colors, so, which I don't think you can do in Flip a Clip. So you can just make room for new ones. You can have up to three layers before watching an ad or getting premium, just like in Flip a Clip. However, while Flip a Clip had the ability to add a static image as the background for the whole animation, Animation Desk has an entire background layer, where no matter what frame you write on, it will become the background for every frame. Way better than Flip a Clip since you can draw on it and change it easily anytime. You can add audio with the ability to change the volume and make it fade, but the audio cutting system is so terrible. You can only mute segments at the beginning of the end, no middle cuts, and in order for the audio to even mean anything in the end, you have to watch an ad or buy premium to have the audio track play. So I'd suggest dealing with audio through another app if you need it. You can have up to 30 FPS and there's many aspect ratios to choose from. My absolute favorite feature is you can lower the opacity of the bucket fill to 1, which effectively acts as an eraser, which is something I wanted for so long in Flip a Clip, and I can't tell you how many frames have been ruined by accidentally bucket filling the entire screen without realizing, and then going too far to be able to revert the change. Another thing I really like is the grab feature, which is a little awkward at first, but is so useful to be able to draw around an area but still adjust the lines before grabbing because many times in flip a clip I've done almost a perfect job drawing the lasso around a drawing but just miss that one pixel and then have to move it individually. In this app you can rotate the screen when zooming out which is nauseating at first but is so super useful. Especially when grabbing because directional stretches align with the angle. And if I were to have an overview of Animation Disk, I would basically consider it better flip a clip if you're more patient. Almost every pro upside to the app seems to be something that involves going slower and having more patience. Adjusting things more, being slower with your curved lines, copying, f copy pasting only from the very original drawing instead of doing it at frame by frame by frame. So basically, if you're patient, this app will do way better than Flip a Clip. So in the end, out of all apps, I would definitely recommend its animation desk. You can find these apps, all these apps on the Google Play Store, except for other than Animation Studio, which is permanently gone. Regardless, of what you choose, please stop using Flip a Clip and share this to anyone who does, especially if they have storage issues. That's all. Subscribe if you want. And also, here's an unimportant, funny review of Animation Desk. Yeah.